and tear in her core, dog at a time. Where we visit this restaurant, restaurant called the Bon Cafe. Now you can, as you can see, the restaurant is very elegant, very nice, and very spacious and very simple. Now today we are we having a barista here. We are we happy to visit a barista by the name of Brian. He is going to show us the kind of coffee we are using, the textures, the taste, the flavors, and extra essentials about coffee. Welcome to Bon Cafe. Hello, Sir Howard. Hi, Howard. Nice to meet you, Brian. Welcome. Uh, it's a nice shop here. I can see it's a, it's a very small shop, simple and very nice. Uh, how many? My name is Brian. Today I'm going to show you some of the of uh, coffee and some beans to come. Yeah. Wow. Nice. I can see here. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, something that I've never, I've never seen before. Why is there no this? Yeah, this is uh, what we call a uh, V60. It's basically used for uh, filter coffees. Yes. Yeah. So if you like to take a filter coffee, fresh filter coffee, yes. normally use uh, V60. Yes. And those who like uh, mild or uh, something that is not strong, yes. it's another tool which is very important. Yes. It's called a uh, yes. So you can call it a Yes, a Yes. A chemist basically it is used for those who people don't like too very strong coffee. Okay. Yeah. Maybe someone wants to feel the flavors but not the density of the coffee. Yeah. So you are most welcome to my counter. Feel free you can ask any question. With me I have uh, two kinds of beans. Yeah, this is what we call uh, Colombia beans from yeah. South America. Mm -hmm. You can check, you can feel the Check even the smell, Ooh. how it is. Now this one coffee is called uh, Colombia. It is from uh, South America. Yes. You find it. It is uh, it's a strong coffee. Mm -hmm. it has a variety of flavors from uh, mandarin, apricot, from uh, orange, hibiscus. Wow. So it is all rounded flavors. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I'm also going to introduce you to another type of beans which are from Africa. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, I can see Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are beans from Uganda. And you can see the rose profile. It is somehow different to the Colombia. Mm -hmm. It has a, a bit of a medium to dark. So uh -huh. it has a higher rose profile compared to, to the Colombia. Yes. But now you find that Uganda comes from a region called like the Ruwenzori. Yeah, so we find this coffee. Yes, it is very sweet, mild. It has a tropical uh, fruits, pineapple, and a bit of passion. Yeah. So maybe you're going to taste whatever you like to taste. Uh -huh. Remember when you are when you are closing this uh -huh. this uh, lid, yes. you have to make sure it's tight. Right. So oh, oh. that's how they have a wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Because you do not want to. Expose the coffee to the atmospheric uh, air yeah, because of the oxidation. Yeah, I understand. I use the, the aroma. Yeah, so when the coffee interacts with the air, yes. there's what we call the, the oxidation process. Yes. The coffee is going to lose its content. You understand? Yeah. yeah, so basically, when you open, even at home, mm -hmm. you open a bag of coffee, make sure you put it in a container like this, yes. it's called an added container. Then you completely fight the lid so that the air cannot uh, go inside. Uh, yeah. So that's that how you take the twist and you take the aroma of the coffee after the food. So I'll go the next one. Yeah, so after the, this, this one, you want to maintain yes. the shell fire. Oh. Oh. Yeah. But after extraction now, that's what I'm going to feel all the flavors, the acid. Oh. Yeah, after the extraction. Now when you put now milk, it becomes even uh, more sweet. Yeah, because milk it has a sweet uh, flavor when it is thin, when it is hot. Yeah. Ah, thanks. So uh, I really like to test uh, some of the coffees. Eh? Because okay. I, and, uh, the way you explain to me is like you have one of the best coffees in the world. Because these are just uh, samples yes. of one of the coffees one we use. Yeah. Basically, we use a variety of coffees from Kenya, uh -huh. from uh, 
Costa Rica, from Brazil. Yeah, but for now, since of uh, the, the weather conditions that we see, most of the fashion, yeah, 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 the environment, and according to season, yes, according to season, yeah. So, wow, I mean, this is very nice, very, 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 very yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've, I've had a this coffee coming here. The Japo is where is it from? Ah, the Bode coffee is from Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bode comes from Kenya. Ah, nice. Yeah, so. Very uh, young. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the yeah. most welcome. Yeah, so uh, Kenya Dabole is one of the best coffees you find not only in Africa, mm -hmm. but also in the in the world. Yeah, it is yes. one of the most best mm -hmm. coffees. Yeah. You find the Kenya egg is found uh, from a region of uh, the Mount Kenya. Yes. Maybe in Mount Kenya. Or have you heard of something in Mount Kenya? Yes, I have. Yes. Yeah, yes. so uh, the, basically the coffee is found there. You find uh, it comes from a region where it has a higher rainfall, about uh, 1,200 meters per annum. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the coffee, since with uh, environmental condition, yes. you find it uh, has a variety of flavors. Yeah. And it has adopted. Uh, acidity as, as, as it is well known uh, because uh, we are using the volcanic soil so it has captured the, the nature of acidity yes. and it has a medium to full body so basically the coffee is uh, very nice uh, we can use it in, in a security coffee also in a brews and also food at home yeah so wow I see your uh, you have a very good balance that here is knowledge and knowledge about uh, Thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> this I gave you enough experience, huh? Yeah, yeah, I have a good experience. Even though this uh, profession is a learning process, so every yeah. step yeah. I try, yeah. So as the day goes, today you learn uh, one thing, today you learn another thing. I'm sure even uh, uh, by the end of this session, they will capture some so you also be able to extract also to test a bit of coffee. Yes. Yeah. So everything is uh, a learning yeah, learning process. Uh, you remember step by time. Okay. So uh very back to meet just the same uh time. Okay. I think uh, just before you before you go to the to the point, what are these headings? Now these ones, yes, but remember, pepper brownish, whitish. Yeah, remember I told you about the filter coffees. Yeah. The chemicals. Yeah. So oh, the, yeah, this is what you call a V60. Oh, this is the V60. Yes, the V60 mm -hmm. and uh, chemicals. So uh, basically, what makes it to be a V60? Yes. It is not only the the tool, mm -hmm. but also we find the the nature of the filter. Yes. See? So you uh, find that the filter paper they are different. Yeah, they are very different. Like mm -hmm. now this one it is uh, uh, very light compared to this, this one, uh -huh. which is heavy. Oh. Yeah. So you realize that uh, when you have a light filter, yes, it is going to allow more soluble coffee to pass through. Okay. Oh. You remember when, when hot when hot water hits the ground coffee, yeah. that's when uh, it's going to uh, what's we call the uh, oxidation yeah. yeah the blooming process where now water meets the ground coffee to allow the soluble coffee now to, to to dissolve in water so that it can pass through the filter yes but now uh, this filter now is very light so it's going to allow more soluble coffee to come out that's why you find uh, the V60 which is very strong yeah, and very heavy compared to this filter. This filter is very, uh, very, uh, let's say, yes. very heavy, yes. So for this uh, filter, see what I mean, there are two and not yeah. one. So uh, basically, the nature of the coffee yes. is going to be very clean and uh, very mild compared to the other filter. Yes. This one also is the same. Just uh, the same, only the different color, but it's the same as with the basic diffusion. So, not uh, much difference. I hope uh, I'm clear by it. Yes, very clear. I really appreciate your time. You're almost, you're almost
I would like, uh, I think I have a fire. My good girl will be suffering from the coffee. Yeah. Maybe I can, uh, which is the uh, coffee that you sell most, or maybe that the one that uh, your guests love most. Okay, basically our guests, uh, they love espresso based coffee. Uh -huh. So when I say espresso based, I'm sure you, you have a uh, have Yes, I have it. Yeah, yeah uh, so... The latte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you know most of the, most of the guests here, they don't like coffee with sugar. Yeah. They like sugarless coffee. So, uh, yeah, so maybe... Black white. Yeah, yeah, black white, latte, cappuccino, something yeah. like that. Uh, I think I'll try because uh, I can see in your menu you have something like a potato. Yeah, the potato is yes. a, a short of espresso, yes. a bit of milk. Uh -huh. Usually it is very strong and uh, very energizing. So maybe if you like, you can try a potato, which is a very strong coffee yes. with a bit of milk. Please, uh, I really appreciate it. Okay, so now I'll show you how we are going to do it. Yes. So this is what I call a, a grinder. This is a malconic grinder. Yes. Malconic uh, pick. Yeah, I've had it's, it. It's been one of yeah, the best. This is a, an automatic grinder. Yes. We also have a malconic uh, EK43S. Uh -huh. That was only not used for the filter coffees. Oh, for the filter that we make. Yes. Use uh, okay. this one grinder. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, we also have a very important uh, tool there. Yes. Yeah, this is for now the, the, cold, the cold coffees. Okay. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, now what we use to, to extract uh, or to brew. It looks so delicate. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Very... Uh, for the cold... Uh, for the cold yeah. yeah. So, it's called a cold drip. Yeah. Normally the coffee takes about uh, eight to ten hours to filter because we only put coffee here about uh, ninety grams. Okay. Then uh, cold water with ice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it should be five uh, nine hundred ml. So that when you extract, it will come slowly, just small, small drips until it spills uh, the coffee. Yeah, yeah, so it takes time. So you just have to wait for that that long no, outside or it's prior? No, this one now we have to plan. Yeah. Uh, maybe if you have uh, uh, coffee in the fridge, you have to check. Oh. Maybe it's uh, almost finished, you need to set up another another brew. Yeah, because it takes time. You can even uh, brew over the night, you come tomorrow, it's finished. Oh. Yeah. Because you will use only 90 grams of coffee. Yes. Yeah. Then you put uh, 900 uh, ml of water. Yeah. Basically, the ratio is uh, one is to one. One gram, 100 ml of water. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So now I will show you how we are going to do the the portal. Yes. Normally, we in our in our uh, coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be mixed. Everything has to be over. Wait, yeah? Yes. Okay. In specialty coffee, uh, quality. The speciality. Yes, quality is what matters because we need to keep coffee some time and some uh, concentration. Yeah, because these are specialty coffee. Yeah. Then I think that that doesn't need need so much rush. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, we use uh, a dose. Yes. For about uh, 16 grams yes. for our specialty coffee. Okay. Yeah. So it has to be 16 grams. Keep constantly 16. Yes, yeah, 16 grams. Okay. But we are not restricted. Sometimes it can go between 16 to 18 grams. So it varies. Yeah, it varies. Uh, okay. Depends on the coffee. Uh, okay. But for this case, I'll only use 16 grams. Yeah. So for 16 grams, uh, will also give you a special shot of about uh, 35 ml. Okay. So that's the espresso. Yeah, so this is how we do it. Uh, before you start, you need to splash the group head. Okay. Yeah, you need to, to make sure it's clean. The water looks hot, yeah? Yeah, very hot. The water should be uh, in the range of temperature. 
which are between 90 yes. and 95 degrees. Yeah. More or less, it will be. It will also affect the quality of coffee. The coffee. Oh, okay. yeah. So in in, in, ex, in specialty, you need to consider those things. First of all, the grinder. How is it set? How is the uh, uh, dose? How is the grind? Is it very fine? Is it very coarse? Because it might be very coarse, so water will come very fast, and it will it will, it will it just have yeah. It is what we call the over extraction and under extraction. Under extraction now is when just coffee pass through the water so it will not capture any flavor. Only it will take water and the acids. Yeah. So it has to balance. Whereas under extra, over extraction now, the coffee takes too much time to extract. You find the coffee is very bitter. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to so I guess in this case yeah. you have already set a machine ready to extract. Yeah, my machine is already set okay. to to a normal uh, operation or to the standard. Uh, yeah. The so, yeah, yeah. So these are we extract. we call the pre-infusion okay. and the blooming process oh, okay. yeah so the blooming process together with the uh, pre-infusion okay. normally takes about 14 seconds yeah so after 14 seconds that you will see the coffee yes yeah coming out oh. that's when you you extract yeah, the full extraction oh, okay. yeah so you, you can see my coffee is uh, about uh, 30 Seven grams, yes. which is within the range. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So before you. The thinning one, so that you can you can remove all the air. Yeah. Now when you're steaming the milk, uh, the steaming one should be 90 degrees. Ah. 90 degrees. Yes. Like this, yeah. So it should be not uh, like this or like this or higher, but should be at least 90 degrees. Yes. So when you're steaming, first of all, you need to. Now this is what we call uh, frothing. Then from there, you you suck the steaming one. Yeah. That's it. Wow. And your milk should not be very hot. Okay. The temperature should be about. So the milk has a range of temperature too. Yeah. Okay. Everything is measured. So now uh, we're going to make a frotado. When you realize you have uh, too much froth, yes. you can spill some out okay. so that you have a cleaner or a smooth. Okay. Yeah. So for tado, this is how we make it. We need to into detail there. Yeah. Just uh, nice and nice easy. Hard. Yes. Simple but very nice. Thank you. So many baristas here are afraid it's hard to just draw the simple yeah, part. Yeah. So when you test, you're going to realize it is very well balanced. Okay. It has a very floral uh, Apricot flavor, orange. Wow. Nice coffee. You guys should come and taste this coffee here. It's very nice coffee. One of the best coffee I've ever had in the, the city of Alcor, in Qatar. And if you're in South Africa, book a flight. If you're in Kenya, book a flight. It's very nice. That ticket is worth this cup of coffee. Oh, okay. Nice. Thank you, Brad. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. You're most welcome. I hope you enjoy. Yes. Uh, if you have any questions, 
bad. Good. I really have the number. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.